The government in Pia, in Sanga Mutaka. Now, opposition politicians, Dr. Kiza Besije from the Forum for Democratic Change and uh, National Unity Platform President Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu have joined forces to condemn what they termed as brazen election thuggery in Uganda in the wake of the Soroti by election won by the NRM candidate. Uh, while addressing journalists yesterday at Hotel Africana in Kampala, Dr. Kiza Besige said that the various political parties and formations have continuously participated in these elections because of their firm belief in democracy and the rule of law as the most ideal means through which to achieve a peaceful transition for the nation, but the outcome has not always reflected the will of the people. <laughs> Now, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu said it's high time they did something to change this situation that he said is worrying. <laughs> The duo plus leaders from other opposition political parties said going forward they will use any upcoming elections to organize and rally the population to defend their democratic rights. Well, in other news, uh, Right Honorable Anita Monk, the Speaker of Parliament, and FUFA President Mr. Moses Magogo have finally moved a step further in as far as making their relationship official is concerned. Uh, over the weekend, it's reported that Anita Monk introduced Moses Magogo to her family. Now, reports also suggest that 50 cows and 30 goats were given out to Right Honorable Anita Mongo's family as dowry, and uh, as we speak right now, her family is the happiest. However, social media in-laws have criticized this couple that they don't match. Yes, some Ugandans on social media are saying they don't match, that they don't look good together. But whatever it is, right here on The Buzz UG, we wish them a very happy marriage. Well, in other news, another Ugandan was almost knocked dead by a train in Namuongo yesterday. Eyewitnesses said this guy had headsets in his ears and uh, was moving on the railway. But fortunately, by God's mercy, he survived being knocked by the train. Now, this guy would have been the third person to die in a train accident in a period of uh, just one month after losing a beautiful couple recently. Guys, I think we need to be very careful while we move near railways, otherwise we're gonna die if we don't be very careful. Well, in other news, 
the high cost of living in Uganda is getting to another level. Some Ugandans have started committing suicide to avoid the tough times that we are facing right now. Now, the latest news coming in from Butambala district, a Boda Boda rider called Jackson Biekwaso, 30 years, set himself ablaze with his motorcycle because of the high cost of living right now in the country. Hii gabantu wama hivya kusaga. Na hata ambula na agena angagamba wama tundesawa na wangiwa satu. Nienda kweta. Kwa ya mwene mwene de mchivuga. Na ako maunga taina wata andikida. Beya mafuta ya linya. Bulichimuchiri wa guru. Nga taina chalabiliza. Taina chalabiliza familia ye. Kwe gamba na asala wo. Yeje mblambu ensi. Na agula wa mafuta. Kuduka yu mtu uze mnafe. Na kunasi mbula pichinata mbula na agenda. Tuagenzo musanga, tuagenzo wabatuze badeba itawu, neba musanga nga agalami dewa nupiche eriko elimu kumubu mbuja. Yesi vye kamigua na mafuta na government elija yeri musanga mutaka. Uh, leaders in Butampala district have blamed government for all these suicide cases that are happening in the country. They said it's high time government steps in on the issue of uh, commodity and fuel prices. Otherwise, we are still losing more people in that manner. <laughs> Now, the spokesperson of Uganda police, Mr. Fred Nanga, says they are still investigating what could have caused Jackson to take his life in such a manner. Chairman, <laughs> Well, this is very sad. Really, this is very sad. I don't know what government is up to with regard to doing something on the issue of the skyrocketing commodity and fuel prices. Anyway, President Museveni is coming to address the nation again on Friday, according to his press secretary. And personally, I think these are things that he's supposed to be talking about other than coming on TV. And he talks about the long-term solutions of the problems that we are facing right now as a country. All right, there you go. Those are some of the big stories that I have for you this morning on the Buzz UG. And uh, in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. And also, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. And also, tap on the bell for all the notifications. As usual, my name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Thank you.